Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I thought I'd do a little tutorial explaining how you can improve the stability or help stabilize videos that you captured on one of your drones, one of your budget drones, more toy class drones. It doesn't have a gimbal or doesn't have any kind of onboard image stabilization. Because these drones, you might spend a hundred bucks or so on, they don't come with a gimbal. And you end up with, may, may, might be decent looking video, but it's all shaky. And it really is, you know, it's, you want it to look like something a little bit better. So what I thought I would show you guys is how you can use something like DaVinci Resolve, which is why I use to edit my software, which is a free for personal use, extremely powerful editing suite that they use in Hollywood. And I'll show you how you can stabilize your footage. Now it's not gonna be perfect, it's gonna still have some shakes and wobbles depending on how severe the shakes and wobbles are in the footage. You can certainly uh, improve the quality quite a bit. Now the drone that I'm flying in this little clip is a Holyton or Holyton HT50. Uh, I just did an unboxing on this video uh, on this drone a few days ago, but I've not done an actual flight review yet. But I did, did, have, did have it outside. I was doing a little bit of testing with it uh, earlier. And of course, there's no gimbal on this drone. This is a, a little over $100 for this drone. It's GPS and it's brushless, but it doesn't have any gimbal or any kind of onboard image stabilization uh, software. So I thought, you know, maybe there's a way you could improve this. And of course, I know that DaVinci Resolve has image stabilization. So whenever I, I drop the clip in, I'm just gonna pull it to my timeline here. And I got two. One of them has the stabilization plot, uh, applied and the other one doesn't, it's just a normal clip. Once you drop them in your timeline in DaVinci, and of course if you're not familiar with DaVinci, you're gonna have to play around with it, but just doing this basic feature, if you just wanna output some stabilized footage, you, you don't have to know too much. You're just gonna drop those in your media pool up here and then you'll drop them to your timeline. And then you'll click on the clip and up here, under your inspector tab, you've got video. And as you drop down here, you'll see stabilization. And then it gives you three different types, perspective, similarity, and translation. Now, I just use, use, usually just leave it on perspective. And then you're gonna have these sliders you can move around. And then you're gonna, you want, first you'll be analyzing the clip. And once you do that, then you're going to click on the stabilize. And then it, it will apply those settings and you'll keep fiddling around with it. So on this first clip here, this is the unstabilized clip. And then the second one is with it stabilized. So this is the clip right off the drone. So let's go ahead and just play that. You see, look at all the wobbles. You know, and this is facing down in what's called rocket mode. You can see quite a bit of shakes. Now even though stabilization is turned on, on this clip, it's always set to on, I believe, but it's, I've not actually pressed stabilize. I've not told it to stabilize the clip yet. But when you get to the second clip, I'm gonna click on this. You can see the sliders have been moved. I've done some adjusting. So the cropping ratio, if you drop this all the way down, that's gonna actually crop off the more of the video. Because when you image stabilize in software, the software needs to zoom in and that's why you see a zoom feature here. Let me pull the scrubber over here. You can see that it's more zoomed in. Now that's a different spot in the video, but here's the beginning of this one. And when I go here, it's a little bit more zoomed in. And what it's doing is it, if I turn the zoom off, you'll see when I play it. You can see how that zoom back. You can see his black borders here. And what that's doing is, is when you zoom, it's, do, it's zooming, it's cropping the video to where it removes that because it's trying to keep the video stabilized on a level plane. So as the video rocks and moves around, it's cropping that off and, and then rotating the video in the software so that the video is more stable. But when it does that, it has to add on and it, you, know, you end up with movement on the axis. So you, click, you wanna keep the zoom enabled because otherwise you'll have these black bars. <laughs> It'll look really funny as the video's moving around. And you can see it is zoomed, so you are losing a little bit of your field of view. But if you drop the cropping ratio down like it did here, that's gonna allow it to crop the most. Now in this video, since this video is not super shaky, um, it's just more wobbles, um, I can do that. But if it's a video that uh, has a lot of movement, 
and you crop it down, you put it down here, it's gonna crop it so much it's gonna have to zoom a ton to where you're gonna be zoomed in on my head in the video. So keep that in mind, you're gonna have to play around with it. Then you give it smoothing effects and the strength, how strong. Now since this clip is not super shaky, I can have the strength all the way up and I have the smoothness you know, close to all the way up. And then you're just gonna click on the stabilize button. So let's say I wanted to just move the crop in a little bit more, click on stabilize, and it's going to go through there and it's gonna analyze the clip and then it's going to let me uh, play it back here. And if you go back here over again, you can just keep adjusting it whenever you want. So let's go, all, let's put the cropping ratio all the way to where it was the strongest. You can see it just, the box just blinked up because it's already done a lot of analyzing. So it didn't take it long to make that adjustment. And whenever you do first make adjustments, you're gonna see a progress bar going across as it is analyzing the footage to apply the stabilization settings. So let's just look at the video clip here again. The uh, first unstabilized clip. See quite a bit of shakes as we're just going up in the rocket mode. And then now let's go to the stabilized clip. You can see, look how much more stable that is. There's a little bit, almost like jello wobbles. Like you're gonna get that when you're doing the stabilizing. You see little, little, it almost looks like a bowl of jello, but it's not terrible. We used to call that jello wobble on the drones because they would get a lot of vibrations from the repellers could cause similar effects. But this is just the artifact of the electronic processing. But I think you guys can agree that, that looks a lot better. So what I'll do now is, when we wrap this video up, let's just play these two clips at full screen so you guys get a little better idea. And then if you have any questions, leave them down in the uh, comments. Um, I don't do video editing tutorials, so if you're a little bit confused, again, you're just gonna go in to the video tab down to stabilization, select what kind of mode you want, mess around the sliders, be sure you click stabilize every time you change your settings, it'll apply those, you can keep playing it. And then when you're done with this, you'll go down on the bottom here to the deliver button, and that's where you can get your output settings. You might want to do MP4, maybe H.265, depending on what graphics card or processor you have. Your resolution, you can, see, you can do 4K, and this was 25 frames per second off the drone, so that's why it's keeping us at that uh, frames per second. And you'll click the folder, and then when you're done, you'll click Add to the Render Queue. It'll pop it over here, and you need to, we'll just call it Untitled here. And then when we get up here, you're just going to click on Render All, and then it'll render this clip, and then you can end up with your... Uh, Final video file, which I'll be doing, you know, which is which you guys will see here in a moment whenever I render this, so I can play it full screen in the software. So stick around here; I'll show them full screen, guys. And I appreciate you guys watching. Hope this tutorial helps you guys out. If you have a budget drone, a Bugs 3 with a camera on it or something, and you want to get better quality video without having to buy a DJI drone, well, then this might be something for you. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel. Please consider subscribing by it. Click that bell that way you're notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. Dark side, side.